What's going on? Howdy. Hello. Hope you're all doing good today. My name is Noah. Nice to meet you. I have recently rebranded from being Noah the Noted to insert Noah. And uh, we're going to try to build a little bit more of a uh, retro three retro theme on this channel and uh, kind of be a bit more uh, nostalgic towards my childhood, you could say. So as Noah the Noted was a was a great uh, name. I am since retiring said name and I've now become insert Noah. And uh, that's thanks to the Lemonated. Thank you, man, for helping me uh, think of a name and idea. I've got some good uh, ideas, actually, for the future. So we'll see what happens. And uh, there's a, a endless amount of ideas. But uh, Discord is now going to be called The In Crowd. And uh, we're going to incorporate more of like an arcade style motif. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I've, I kind of got... Uh, Noah the Noted was a, was a good name. I liked it. However, it was kind of hard to brand off that name. And I wanted something that was going to be a little bit more uh, personal. And uh, I just think insert Noah kind of sounds pretty dope. So... We're going to go with that. Hopefully I'll never have to change again, but uh, you never know. I don't know. But insert Noah, that's what it is. And I like it. Here we go. We're going to play some uh, animal party. Or excuse me, party animals. And uh, I played this the other day. I really enjoyed it a lot, actually. Let me turn up my mic really quick. There we go. I can hear myself. All right. So yeah, we're gonna play some uh, party animals. I really enjoy this game. It's funny as fuck, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. I, I think it's gonna be uh, a good time. So here we go. Here we go, baby. Oh shit, maybe not. Hold on. Thought we were I thought we were gonna go. Let me uh try something really quick here. Technical difficulties. Saskia, hello, loving the new changes. Hey, appreciate it. How you doing? How's your How's your day? It's morning time over there, I think, right? There we go. There we go. We got it now. We had a couple little technical difficulties there. Yeah, I appreciate this, Sasuke. Hope you're having a good day. I'm not too shabby, thank you. And uh, 6.34 in the morning. Woo! You're an early riser, huh? You're getting up early. Yeah, so Sasuke, uh, so here's our, here's the new intro, by the way. This is my new opening video for now. And I think it turned out all right. I, I made it on uh, really quick. I made it last night 
off of uh, an app called Canva. But, uh, well, I didn't end up sleeping much. Fell asleep at 3 and woke at 5.30. Woo! Running on two and a half hours. Now I've got my little transition there. Boom. And then we got, uh, right now you can't see it, but I'll show you something here. Let me, uh, change the, uh, so we got a little bit of a sound bar generator. So sick, right? So slick. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. I like it. And uh, I, I chose to get rid of Noah the Noted mainly because it was hard to uh, brand around that name. So I got with Lim and over a, a couple of days we came up with, uh, with insert Noah. So that's super useful. Yeah, super useful, yeah. Canva. Keeping it fresh. That's right. And uh, this is the app. I think canva.com. I think, I think that's it right there. You can go there and you can actually get, you know, uh, a lot of, of your graphic design stuff. If you ever want to stream or do any of this kind of stuff, I use Canva all the time. It's awesome. And that's not an ad. That's that's truth right there. That's brilliant. Shame about the notes, but the changes are brilliant. Yeah, it is what it is. I wasn't really... I don't know. I'm, I was uh, I was trying to think of ways to, to market around or brand, meaning like I want to have like... Um, a theme to my stream and it's hard to have a theme with that name if that makes any sense that's absolutely brilliant to know thank you oh you're very welcome very welcome but uh we're gonna jump into uh party animals if you haven't seen this game it's it's awesome so here we go See if we can get us a quick game here. I get you completely. All right, okay, good. I, I thought I was the only one, for real. So I was like, am I the only one that changes his name <laughs> on Twitch, you know? I didn't want to get rid of my name because I wanted my name to still be in the title, you know? Thank you for having me. Oh no, thank you for being. Let's see. So stay on the bridge and stay alive. Okay, here we go. Let's get it. And uh, I'm gonna be the, actually, I think, I'll... yeah, I'm... I'm gonna be the unicorn tonight, actually. I like the unicorn. He just doesn't give a fuck. If you look at him, he don't give a fuck. Look at him. He's just scratching his ass and shit. Just my kind of guy. Just trying to get through the day, you know? You know? Just, uh. Plus, he's a unicorn, which is like the best mythical creature there is, in my opinion. One of the best. For sure. Come on. Let's go, baby. And I'm drinking some lemonade. Oh shit. All right, I gotta remember the uh... I gotta remember the... Oh shit, he laid me out. 
Grab the gun. Get it. Oh no. Ah. Oh. If it was not working for you, then you got to do what you need to do. At the end of the day, you want to feel comfortable and creative within the boundary that you've set. And if you can do it, then the changes are always going to be valid. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, uh, it just didn't have my uh, creative juices flowing, you could say. I just... So, yeah, that's... It wasn't easy, but... It's all good. I think, I think it'll, it'll work out good. Here we go. Oh, is that it? Oh, there's a, there's a bomb right there. Alright, let's get... Oh shit! Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Get off me, bro! Get off me! Get the fuck off me! get to the top oh shit oh my god <laughs> where I can I will always try to support you I appreciate that so much thank you so much sauce oh my god look at this shit I can't believe I'm still alive holy shit oh my god don't break no Oh my god. Oh. Damn. You fucking kidding me, man? What are you doing to me? Here, I'm gonna talk to these dudes. This is online. I won't talk to them. What are you doing to me? Leave me alone, I haven't hurt any of you. Oh my god! No, that's sad, you were getting there after an awesome set. I know! Oh my gosh. Crazy. Crazy, bro. So what's on your uh, agenda today, Sasuke? Oh! You gonna pick me up now? Yeah. Oh my god, they keep knocking me out. Oh! No, that, um, let me know if I chat to- No, you, you, can, you can chat as much as you want. I don't give a shit. Man, it's nice to have someone to talk to, I'll be honest. Sorry if I uh, don't respond right away. I kind of get into the game a little bit sometimes. Kind of get into the flow. This is a really cool game, though. I really like this game. It's actually, it's actually pretty fun. It's funny as fuck, too. Get that pepper. All 
All right, let's play again. Let's play again. All right. Icebreaker. No? Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, Ichiban, Ichiban. This one's fun. I like the, like, Seinfeld music that is in this game. It reminds me, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Seinfeld, but... Kind of has those, like, Seinfeld vibes. We'll play with the Jefferson. We'll play with this pig Scarlet Jefferson. Ah, there, Mother Lucas. What you doing to my waters? Not much of a talker. Good choice. You're going down, sucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he got me. Oh, oh my God. I have a meeting, uh, like thing at 10 a.m. and I'm going to probably go for a walk along the beach or coast to see if there's pictures to get after it. Post a story at 12 too, so not busy. Oh, what do you post uh, to the most? Like what social media outlet? That sounds awesome, by the way. That sounds like a great day. Oh my God, brother, fucking mom. Like, I can just hate on me, bro. Get up off me, bro. Oh, you'd kill this boat then. You're staying down here with me. Yep. That's how it works. That's how it works. You gonna knock me off? You're gonna make me bleed my own blood. There you go. Fair, fair, you, you, you know me, I like to check and apologize before things crop up. Never expect heaps to respond to. Oh, no, no problem. No, it's, it's totally cool. You can talk as much as you want. Chat as much as you want. I like it. I like having active chat, so. It's taking me, uh, I started streaming in 2020, so it's taken me like uh, almost three and a half years or so to almost four years actually to like get to the point where I can sit and play and read chat well, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, and I'm still working on it too, you know. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh no, I almost had him. Damn. Get up off me. Get up off me. Oh no. What is that? Oh, you're mine. Bring it, Mother Licka. 
Punch me right in my feffus. Damn. Alright, let's drop a bomb on him. There it is, boys. It didn't do much. Dang! Oh. No. No, what are they doing to it? No. Damn. Get it. Kind of limbo stage today because of public transport link. I mainly post on Instagram because that's um, the most accessible. Mainly show off my landscapes, which is my hobby. Got plans to start working on some um, portrait photography and in Cyrillus uh, ed editing soon and also plan to get my portfolio website running again but those are both long term goals hey you got some goals that's all that matters you, you're you on the right path that's awesome you get to go walk along the beach I'd take like a metal detector out there or something like look for some treasure or something that's what I like doing on the beach and fishing, I like to fish. Give me that. <laughs> oh, I feel like Kung Fu Panda, bro. What the hell? Oh, that's the other thing I'll be doing when I'm home is sorting my drive. It's the right balance of doing something semi-useful while watching Lim stream when he gets stuck into games and I can't think what to chat. Oh yeah, that would that that helps a lot. Yeah, I drive a lot for work myself, and I commute a lot, so I always keep the stream on. Uh, while I'm driving. I don't necessarily get to like watch everything, but I'm more of like listen. Oh my god. Holy shit, what a move. What a move there. From the furry guy. What the hell, bro? Motherfucker. Get up there. No. What the? Anything is good. I wanted to quit everything photography uh, being of this year. And now I got to study INSA again, but mainly thanks to Lim. Oh, that's good. When metal detecting, I haven't, honestly, I don't live anywhere near a beach. But, I mean, that doesn't really, it doesn't really give me, um, I shouldn't have an excuse not to do it. I should still do it here. Maybe in the desert I could do it more or something. But you find more stuff on a beach. That That's why I always look at a beach and think metal detector, you know? Like, uh, I lived in, uh, on the beach of, uh, North Carolina for a little while. And, uh, I would do some metal detecting out there. And I loved it. It was great. It was like fun, therapeutic. Here we go. Adios. I'll take this. Oh. Get out of here. Oh no. Oh, I'm fucked. I killed myself. I remember you saying you drive a bit uh, for work. Do you mind it at all? No. I, I, matter of fact, it helps my day go by. And uh, I know my way around the city really well. So it makes it easier, too, to drive. And uh, 
and enjoy the drive when you know where you're going, if that makes any sense. Oh my god, man. We gotta win this one, man. I got I got knocked the fuck out. What is this? What is this? Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. There we go. Get away from me, bro. Get away from me. Oh my god. Oh, I hit the roll button. Damn. That's okay, just curious. The beach is great. Because people lose stuff all the time, so fresh things to find all the time. Desert, you're less likely to find spots, uh, find old stuff, yeah. Yeah, you probably, to be honest, you, I mean, you may find some, I mean, you never know, you know? You never know what you're gonna find, to be honest. But, like, I would say definitely on a beach, you got a higher chance of finding something there than you would. Possibly just oh my god. Are you kidding me? Like right away But yet yeah, You'll definitely get a like you said uh, a better chance of finding something on a beach. I think you know Here we have like dinosaur fossils and shit that you can dig up like that That's big around here like you'll you'll act you'll stumble on a fucking like t-rex bone or something you know you should be just like using that tennis racket to just smack those ice balls This kid, he's about to get it. Uh-oh. 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 Getting back up over here. They're all in the smoke. We got a bomb. Oh, man, they're all dead. Wow. There you go. Last man standing. Oh. Oh! Damn. Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Hey, that's dope. Oh my god, let's go. Ugh. Let's go. Get out of here. Oh, I got blown up. Look at him. I'm just getting laid out over here. Did I knock myself out? Look at that. Oh. Oh, that's mine. Nope. Nope. Oh. How do they land their punches so well, bro?
What? Oh, they're fighting over there. There we go. Damn. Nope. No! Damn. Got me good. They got me real good. Let's throw a bomb at him. King Bunny. I'll have to go on your Instagram for sure and check out your uh, pictures though, Sasuke. I haven't really been on Instagram too much. I don't know why. It's just uh, I feel like I'm on a lot of a lot of different social media apps, and uh, I have to kind of like choose my which one I want, sort of, you know. To be on, I feel like I'm on a lot of them, you know. TikTok. Um, what else? YouTube, Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitch, for me. But uh. Looks like a cool uh, game to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of different kinds of um, like game modes you can choose, and you can play soccer, hockey, football. Uh, like there's like kind of like a basketball game that you can play, but I like the music too. That's a pretty catchy. All right, I wasn't really digging the uh, Jefferson, so we're gonna choose a unicorn. With the unicorn. I wonder how often that cow thinks about the Roman Empire. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Cow. How often do you think about the uh, Roman Empire? You're welcome to. Uh, you never. You never have to, though. There's no. Uh, they're not that good. Get out of here. Uh, I get you for your line on content creation. Those are solid ones to support your growth. But these, these days, these so many social media platforms that it makes it challenging to know which one to use. Yes, for sure. And to be honest, if I wasn't like streaming video games and stuff, I wouldn't even be on social media. I'd be completely honest with you. I'd maybe have, I would maybe have like a, uh, a, uh, like a TikTok or something, but that would be it. And just because I like watching TikToks, you know? Yeah! Look at that shit! What you think about that? Oh, get out of here with that shit. It does look deep in thought. It might think about it a lot. It does look deep in thought. It might think about it a lot. I, I, what? Oh my God! Here they come! Oh, thank God! There we go. That's fair enough point. TikTok is great um, to get lost into, to be fair. Same here. I have a lot of platforms to support others, but don't really use them much. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I straight up, like, honestly, if I wasn't, if I wasn't streaming any video games, I wouldn't even be on, uh. But I really like, I really like to, to play video games. 
and I really like to uh, stream them. So. What? And I want people to be able to watch me if they wish. Here we go. This is our time to shine. We're not looking very good though. I'll tell you that. No. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Is there a reason you wouldn't use them if you were not a streamer? Um, just because, uh, I don't know. It's just, um, I'm, I was raised in the country, you know, like I'm a country boy, but like by nature, you could say. And I kind of like just, uh, you know, my privacy and stuff like that, you know, when I'm not, I guess, you know, I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm a streamer, so I have no privacy, but. Like a hobbit, sort of. Like, if you like Lord of the Rings, like, I'm sort of like a hobbit, you know? Even though Bilbo went out and did his big adventure with Gandalf, and he, he did great, and he really enjoyed it, by, by nature, he's still very much a hobbit in the heart. See what I'm saying? But I have a, I'm like a hobbit with a slight uh, adventure um, thirst, I guess, guess you could say. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. I'm like a, I'm like a big old hobbit. What is this? Oh, here we go. That was my fault right there. Here we go. I hear you and respect that is so so it's a bit like you like your own space. Um without feeling like you're under a microscope. It, yeah, exactly like that. Like I'm old fashioned, you know. I was raised in the like I was born in the eighties and raised in the nineties and stuff. Like I, I, before the internet came out, like I remember what it was like to not have internet and not have cell phones. And uh and it's there's like a there's kind of like a peace peaceful calming thing that you get when you don't have those things around, you know? What the put me down? Mother liquor? Get out of here. Oh I tried man. I tried. I carried my team on that. Holy shit. Damn, that was fun though. That was fun. But yeah, if if there ever comes a day where I'm like, yeah, I'm probably never gonna stream again, then I may just, I probably get rid of all my social media accounts except for uh, TikTok, probably. And then I would still maybe post TikTok videos every now and then or something. Like if I get like a wild hair up my ass to post some random ass video, you know? Kind of like what I have on my TikTok right now. There's a bunch of random videos. I'll get like an idea and I'll be like, hmm, I need to, I need to post a video about this, you know? Looks like we got pre-rolled ads. Pre-roll ads are on. Uh, run an ad break to disable them. What does that mean? Um. Hey, Sasuke, I'm going to run an ad break really quick. It's going to be a 60 second ad break. Thank you so much for your patience.
Alright, let's get some more lemonade really quick. Oh, wait, we ain't got time. We ain't got time. We gotta pick up the shovel. We got work to do here. Where the fuck are we right now? Holy shit. Out of the waters and back onto land, baby. Here we go. Oh my god. I'm getting on top of the sub. We're in. We're in. Get back on there. No. I hear you respect that. Oh, sorry. I read that one. Respect to that. It's good to not uh, be too attached to social media because a lot of people are so attached that they spend most of their time on it and can't be away from it uh, kind of thing in my opinion. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, and I, I, I love, you know, playing games and, uh, and being on uh, posted TikToks and you know, but yeah, you need a break sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta get get a good break from that stuff. For sure. But sometimes, and here's the other side, is that streaming can be a good break for me from normal life. So it works both ways for me. Am I going down here? What's up? What's up with this? Oh shit! Oh my god! Holy shit! That was crazy. Toss a bomb in the hole, see what happens. Gonna close it in there. Oh no, it's stuck. There is another missile. I think the way you approach it is cool. You do it as a uh, as a as a byproduct of something you love, and so there's no pressure. You press go live, and what happens happens. But mainly, you enjoy the games without having stress for content. Yes, definitely. Um, I uh, that's sort of the take I've always had on it. Um, I feel like for me, personally, like, personally, that streaming, if I keep it more of like a hobby, it doesn't get so serious for me, you know? And uh, it makes it easier to enjoy it, if that makes any sense. And for me, if I'm enjoying it, it's easier for me to be a better host, if that makes any sense. And that goes probably for anybody that does it. I'd say it would probably work better that way for them. Who the hell is still alive right now? Oh, okay. Alright, I'm grabbing the can of Coke here. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. 
You're going down, sucker. Come here, mother liquor. Let's see if you can swim. Come on. I get you. You can't force yourself to keep going when you're not okay. So it's best to be relaxed. Yes. For sure. It is. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I just try to enjoy it. Ever since I was a kid, I loved, I loved filming and, uh, photography. Um, I always wanted to be, like, a movie director when I grow up. Um, uh, or something like that. Uh, like, working on, like, uh, making just homemade movies with my grandmother's video camera. She had, she had a huge video camera too. This thing was like, it, it held like VHS tapes and then I'd, I would have to plug it in the wall to keep it on because the battery was like burned up on it or something. But I would, I would literally put that huge camera on like a tripod and I would make like just different movies around the house like little short movies that i would think of ideas and then uh yeah so i've always liked cameras and photography i used i used a lot of the uh kodak cameras that you have to wind up you know and then take it down to the store and get the get the film uh process and then go pick up the pictures like a week later or something those were the good old days. There we go. Oh, I thought I had it there. So the name of this game is to pretty much just climb to the top of the submarine, pretty much. And stay on the top. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the tippity top. Oh my god, bro. Sounds great. That sounds like um like an awesome recorder. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I um uh, that's like my childhood in a nutshell though right there that and I would uh, I'd spend a lot of time at the uh, skating the skating rink get off me bro get up off me get up off me bro I'm a unicorn I'm a unicorn bro Oh my god! I got swept out to sea, man. Funny you mentioned those Kodak cameras. That's uh, that's where my film-based photography stemmed from, actually. Really? Yeah, so... Let me turn down the music here. I think it's a little loud. Let me turn it down. So... Uh, I, when I lived in North Carolina, um, let me see if I can, after this game, I'll, I'll go on YouTube and I'll show you like a video of where I live, where I like grew up, but like it's in the mountains. It's like wooded area. Um, and I would get out there and I would take tons of pictures with my wind up camera that I would have. And I, I was probably like seven or eight years old, maybe, maybe a little older. And um, do you have a camera that you use or just your phone camera? So I have a Sony a6000 um, But the problem is it uh, it's for some reason it's not working right now, so I, I either got to get a new one or possibly uh, look into uh, Getting that one fixed 
It kind of sucks, to be honest. But, uh, and then my phone is a uh, Samsung Galaxy Ultra 22 or 23. Ultra 23, I think. So it's got a pretty good camera on it. Um, oh my god, are you kidding me? <clears throat> yeah, my phone's got a good camera on it. This is my phone. Let me uh, let me go full screen. Hold on. All right, so it's a little dirty right now, but yeah, I've got the Samsung. Let me see which one it is. The uh, uh, S23 Ultra is what it's called. But I use this. And then for my stream, I use... Uh, let me see if I can show you what kind of camera I use. I don't know if you can see this. There you go. It's just a Logitech, um, Logitech C920 is this camera right here. And then my Sony a6000 is in there in the bedroom, but, uh, it's not working right now. So kind of sucks because I had a real, I had it hooked up to my stream and everything, my Sony and, um, my camera looks so clear. I mean, it looks so good. <clears throat> oh, cool. That's got some good, uh, good quality. Yeah. And I can actually hook this phone up to where I could stream and use the camera on this phone, which it probably would look really good. Actually, I may actually try that to see what it looks like. Maybe one stream I'll stream with my phone. Or something like that. I'm. I always like doing stuff like that. I always have like kind of, um, you know, using different gadgets and seeing seeing the difference in between each one and stuff like that. Oh yeah, let me uh, go full screen Xbox mode. We're just climbing up a sub here, trying to win the game. Oh, hang on. Sounds like you grew up in a lovely place, I may say. I did. Uh, it, it was, um, there's, there was like rivers and creeks and, uh, forests. And, uh, I was mentioning, uh, Lord of the Rings earlier. Like, it was kind of like growing up in the Shire a little bit. <laughs> You know, nice phone to it. Must be nice uh, to you. Samsung are very durable, durable to my knowledge. Shame about your camera because it's such a crisp camera. Hopefully you can get it sorted. Yeah, I hope so. I really do because I love, I love that camera. When, when I first got it, it was taking awesome video and pictures and stuff. It was just amazing. Very clear, you know? Oh my god, look at all these guys. Punch him! Punch him! Punch him! There we go. It's just me and you. There we go. I'm gonna win this. This is mine. No! Hang on. Hang on, little fella. Was that it? Did he win? No, I'm still not I'm still not dead yet.
Who's that? Who's that? Ah. Oh. Dang, man. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. Let me show you a video um, really quick. All right, got the sound sorted out. Shame so close, I know, we were so close there. The good thing is everything's so cute in that game. You can't get it. You can't even get angry when you lose in that game. To be honest, it's perfect. So we're going to uh, check out. Let me see if I can find us a good video. Of, so the city I grew up in was called Asheville, North Carolina. And uh, let me see if I can get a good video that I think would be sufficient. All right, let's. Uh, this one's got fourteen thousand views. Let's check this one out. Here we go. I'll post the link in the chat. Good morning from Mars Hill, North Carolina. Mars I'm Hill? currently Ooh. about 30 minutes north of Asheville, which is one of my favorite cities so in this all is where of I was the raised, US. Oski. And this, I've been here for the last few right days here. with family, just spending time. We went whitewater rafting yesterday, and today we are going to rent some e-bikes and ride around Asheville and explore. So it should be super fun, and you will get to meet a few of my family members that I don't know if you've met before. And also, if you haven't watched my update video, then you wouldn't know, but <laughs> someone's back in the picture <laughs> watch my previous video for a full update but oh yeah it's yeah beautiful. if you're an og you and you're around for the rv days to, then you would uh, obviously visit know Dylan. United States. i don't and know if you've yeah, ever been or not and better than ever and better than ever uh, and we're gonna go have a lovely definitely day definitely come Asheville. check out so, north carolina let's go you, you won't be uh it's a beautiful place the people are friendly Okay, we have just parked and we are walking to actually this lunch spot that I've never been to before, but I've heard it's amazing and has super good food. So we're going to meet the whole fam there. And real quick, I live in Las Vegas right now. So I am seriously debating on doing some uh, vlogging uh, for my YouTube. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, definitely check out my link tree, which is on in my... Uh, about me section of my Twitch and go check out my uh, social links, especially my YouTube, because I'm going to be putting some vlogs of me going through Las Vegas, uh, doing a couple of things, uh, yard selling, eating out, uh, just general attractions around the city. And uh, yeah, definitely check it out for sure. My YouTube. Coming to America and touring it one day. Oh, yeah. Hello. You'll you'll have a good time, you know. And I want to come to the UK. I want to come to the UK. I want to go to New Zealand. I want to go. Um, there's a couple of places. And I've lived overseas. I've lived in a few different countries uh, throughout my life. And I've been able and blessed enough to be able to see uh, other countries and cultures and stuff. And uh, there's nothing like it, being able to go and like visit other people's countries. It's, it's very cool. That would be so sick. Would be uh, dope to see that side of things. Yeah. Come on over. Hell yeah. And there's good food too, Sasuke. I mean, I'm talking good food. Soul food. So freaking you know? good. Oh yeah. I've never even seen this video either, by the way. I've never even seen this video. It's the first time. That place was so good. There was tons oh, yeah. of vegetarian options. If you're a vegetarian like me. But now we are and, uh, on Lexington Avenue, which yeah, is like in, the main shopping downtown. area. 
So they're in downtown Asheville right here. And uh, I remember as a kid uh, going on field trips uh, with the class. And we'd come down here. We'd walk around. We'd look at all these historic buildings. And uh, they've really cleaned up this whole downtown here. Made it kind of that, um, kind of like a distressed, uh, very kind of rustic-y, um, uh, old American kind of vibe to it. Uh, almost like a San Francisco kind of feel to it now. And uh, it's definitely cool. Definitely cool. What I really love is that there's just so many like... Uh, that's good that you have uh, because you get to um, a different depth and respect for humanity when you see new cultures. Yes. And I, um, I've been to, let's see, I've been to Japan, I've been to uh, Turkey, I've been to Germany, I've been to uh, Spain, I've been to Saudi Arabia, Dubai, I mean, I've been to a few, you know, and um, out of all of those, I would say, oh man, I really like Japan, Japan is beautiful, and I love it. Uh, did you? That's awesome. You did. Uh, that's nice. They cleaned it up. Uh, uh, makes more of an attraction, but the old style will stand. Yeah. The way that they remodeled the downtown. And as you can see behind her, there's a lot of stores down there that have a lot of these kind of items in it. Just kind of, um, crafty. It's a very artistic, um, like Phil, uh, very cool. Very local cool. artisan markets and places like we are right artisan, now. The artisan. The buildings, they used to be like old like drugstores and stuff. And they've converted yeah. them now into little artist booths. Yeah, so, so cute. You can find... See, see, I'm so old that I remember when all these stores were drugstores. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like really cute unique stuff like there's no rhyme or reason just like lots of random little chotskis like this yeah Asheville's a very artsy area so you'll find some really unique stuff here yeah and we have this river right here which is I believe this is the called the French Broad River and I did a lot of fishing on this river. It's a pretty large river. Uh, you can go uh, kayaking and tubing and any kind of water sport you can think of. <clears throat> oh, really? That that's so must be uh, must be a bit surreal. RTN nature uh, sport sounds like my place. Yeah, yeah. This, if you like art and nature and photography and all that shit, this is your place. And when this brings me back to the Kodak camera story, you know, I had grown up inside these like wooded areas and I literally would go around and take pictures and, oh, and have my grandmother would have them processed and I would let, she probably still has stacks of pictures that I took of like nature and all that stuff. And I was just a young kid and, I, and I, that's what I like to do. I like to take, Pictures of like stuff outside, play outside, be in nature, you know, no phones, none of that. And, you know, eventually video games came into my life and they stayed in my life for the rest of my life. Now, definitely one of the number, if not number one thing to do here in Nashville is go brewery hopping. There are more than 50 breweries here and we are at one of our favorites, one of our go-tos, Green Man. Yeah, Gotta love this they got spot. a lot of breweries too. This brewery is so cool. I love how a lot of them here in Asheville, you can actually see them brewing the beer on site. Sierra Nevada is the other one that's massive, but it's a little bit further out. It's close to the airport. But yeah, you can see the whole process here. That's cool. Thanks, Queen. I also like that they have small. This is an eight ounce hazy. It's the Nerd Runner, I think. Nerd Nectar. Do you guys have micro uh, micro brews over there in uh, the UK? I'm sure you do. I, you guys, you guys have like crazy amounts of beer over there. I know that. You know. Yay!
Okay, so change of plans. I actually ended up feeling really ill the other day when we were supposed to come do e-bikes. So we're back again. and we're yeah, we're back again, <laughs> trying this again. The e-bikes were sold out because it's Saturday and it's amazing weather, but we got some regular bikes and we rented them for three hours. So yeah, we're gonna go ride around Asheville and I don't even know where we're gonna go. So you're just, just an explore. You're just gonna be explore. along for the ride for sure. <laughs> See, they didn't have any of this stuff so when I was growing up. That would be cool. Hours, like I said, so for two people, it's ninety-four with tax and everything, and yeah, pretty for much. For the whole day. A lot of greenways in Asheville, so we're just gonna go ride along that, go along the French Broad River. I'll show you everything, and then we'll eventually stop by a brewery. French Broad River. To go there you go. Shops, and yeah, but this place is. Look at that building, man! That looks so cool. Has a ton of galleries and really beautiful art galleries and studios. So we'll probably explore that when we get back. But I'm in the mood to go. Okay, so basically we just drove over the bridge, over the French Broad River, over the and bridge. now we're biking through French Broad Park, I think it's called. It's so pretty. I've actually never been to this park before, and it's really fun. You get to kind of go along the river and watch all the rafters or the tubers which is usually what we do. It's so much fun. This would actually be the perfect day for tubing. We usually do it every time we come, but we actually went whitewater rafting the other day in Irwin. See, this is what you do in the country. You go out there, you get your tubes, you tie them together, you get your, your uh, cooler, you put your beer and your ice in it and your sodas or your water, whatever you want to bring, and you go out and you float down this river. And that's what you do. That's, that's like fun stuff right there. Tennessee, which is like an hour from Asheville. And it was so fun. We went to USA Raft. And I had no idea that the Nolichucky River even existed. So if you want to go whitewater rafting, just take an hour drive outside of Asheville. So fun. It was so fun. Is she like holding the camera? Man? She needs to get like a mount. So as you drive along... This Videos very loud too. along the French Broad. There's going to be a couple signs that are telling you what's coming up. So I think in a little less than like 0.7 miles or so is the Belgium, New Belgium. So I think we might have to hit that spot up. I haven't been to New Belgium in so long. It this has, place is like a playground. It's been a while. Yeah. We have food trucks all around. There's actually live music that's about to start. And yeah, you can bring your dogs and sit outside. And there's obviously the really nice outdoor area. And you can sit basically overlooking the French Broad River, which is amazing. I'm a little tipsy because I don't drink that much. <laughs> she feeling it. She feeling it. Me and my girl, we're definitely gonna, line, gonna have to do this when we go back west. home. That's right. for sure. There's not. <laughs> chicken BLT. Oh my god, that looks so good. Some other chicken thingy with chickpeas. Tiki Miss Off. Duck well, taco shop. Of the group, so I got banh mi tofu, black bean cheese, cheese and black beans. Yes, we will. There she is right there. I am so hungry right now, and I love that on a We're fun to change your name, babe. Like today, I don't have to worry about going to the grocery We're to store, uh, making a your name meal myself, to thanks to Miss Factor, who is sponsoring today's video. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen meals right to your door, and all you have to do is pop one in the insert, microwave or oven, and you have a fresh, delicious insert, meal ready to Mrs. enjoy in just a couple minutes. Mrs. I'm vegetarian, insert. so I ordered the Veggie Plus Vegan Box and got to choose from more than 27 different meal options that Factor's team of gourmet chefs update weekly That's today i'm having yeah. the blackened tofu bowl and i had this the other day it's so freaking good factors registered dietitians work hand in hand with their kitchen to ensure Ms. that every Ms. meal Noted. is made from she scratch is, with nutritious ingredients which is perfect baby. for when you're too my, busy to even think about making a meal let alone going to the grocery right store and making it yourself meal plans range from four to 18 meals per week and i love that when i'm on a family trip like i am right now i can adjust my order size to accommodate for larger groups. We actually had a factor kind of, for dinner a couple nights ago after a super long day, that, uh, and everyone got to choose a different meal based on 
Boom. Let's skip forward there a little. Okay, so remember when I told you about the Nola Chucky River where we went whitewater rafting? Well, we are currently here at a really cool music festival called Dog This is Dinner where we Chucky, gotta go, babe. And it's been so much fun. We it's gotta so go here. here. We have these yurts that you can see behind me and like airstreams you can We can just, in we'll sleep little, like, in those. Homes. And it's just such a good vibe and there's really great live music all the time. So we're having so much How fun. How fun and does that look? We, we can even, we could South just get a tent. Which is another go-to yeah, spot. We, this is a little outside do. of Asheville. It's about maybe an hour. It's a little bit into Tennessee. It's right outside of Irwin. Um, but Salvation I hope they make some zero Asheville. alcohol we beer. The other night uh, I went to this reggae concert. It was so I want, fun. I want one so of those. To do here. Every single night there's like live music everywhere. And Say when, uh, right now. Let's sell everything we have. Let's go. Practicing. He's a fucking Practicing to lose. Play some cornhole. Look at those mountains. Holy shit. Okay, we are currently at French Broad Outfitters, which is usually where we come when we come do tubing. So I definitely recommend it for that. But we are yep. here. So the, up. this some is the French Broad equipment. River, babe. This is where I. Like, this is where I would fish and swim and float. Mojo's excited to go camping. He's really excited. So we've got a tent, pots and pans. And then our little stove. Yeah. So we're heading to, what, what do you call it, second gear? Just down the road. Yeah, right down the road to get the uh, propane canister. Look how freaking just... buy a couple sleeping pads just to have. It's like a vacation hotspot there Tampa. now. I was a grave error on my end. I totally forgot to bring them. See this highway over here? You can see my mouse where this truck is. This is like the main highway that runs back and forth. And I lived, I guarantee it. I lived that I lived on this side over here. Over here. I know exactly where she is at right there. Um, Looks like there's a lot guys, to do. So yeah, there is got, a shit ton uh, of stuff to do. And pillows because we're extra and we can park the truck if you're outdoorsy, that this is your place, you know? So it'll be an extra cozy experience. An extra cozy hobbit side experience. Someone needs to just build the Shire in Asheville. I've never been here before. No, we need a smaller one. This one is for like propane stoves. What if it's like, is it the one burner? It looks like this. Yeah. That's what we need. Oh yeah. Okay, we actually need these. These are so cheap, but I guess it'll do the trick. Wow, they have everything here. Yeah, they got everything. They got this everything that's place good. For reasonably priced. Sold on moving. Here, yeah, move. Sure. Do it. <laughs> and then you just, Perfect place for your photography. Look at that. Yeah. This is like my backyard right here. It's like my backyard, you know? So we are officially on the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is one yep. of the quintessential places that you have to go slash yes. drive when you're in yes. Asheville. It's a 469 miles, and I believe it runs from Georgia up into Virginia, I yeah. think. Something like that. I'll fact check myself, but it is one of the most beautiful scenic drives that you will ever drive in the United States. So the Blue Ridge Mountains actually emit this like bluish tinge when you see it from a distance. Look and at it's that because shit. the trees emit what an amazing this chemical shot. or something called isoprene. That is and it an amazing shot. Holy shit. And it gives this like bluish tinge and it's so beautiful. So we are heading to our campsite in Must the have been a lot National of fun. Forest, yeah. which is only about 25 so, to 30 minutes. Yeah, Pisgah Inn, look at this. So the elementary school I went to was Pisgah Elementary School. So literally I went to the school that was like right on, right in those mountains, you know what I'm saying? So I went, I, I grew up here from uh, two years old to 13 years old. I was there. Drive outside of Asheville. So if you wanna come camping or you just wanna go on some hikes, this is such a great area. So I am so excited to show you. And I'm so excited That's why, to go camping. That's why I'm saying like uh, with cell phones and technology and all that stuff, when I was growing up, we didn't have any of that shit, you know? Not till like the, like the mid-90s, you know? 
And then then maybe then we got like a gateway computer. It was like a big box computer. We got one of those. And then I had like a I had like a Nintendo and I had a PlayStation. Her dog's so cute. Okay, so we are officially at Mount Pisgah Campground. I'm yeah. very excited, it's so beautiful. The rangers are so sweet. And apparently there is a very strong chance that we're going to be encountering some black bears while we're here. So oh, yeah. we'll be taking all the precautions. I used to have those walking through my backyard. Be We've camped in bear country before. So I will yeah. give you a tour They're of nice. the campground and the bathhouse when we arrive. We actually just went to the camp store, which is right across the street. And it's very basic, but it does have kind of all the essentials that you need. Definitely do your grocery shopping before you come. Yep. But they have things like ice. We just picked up a bunch of firewood a little excessively, if I do say so myself, but. Hey, I'm hanging out by the fire all night. Tonight. I am with you. Oh yeah, and they have like basic drugstore stuff as well, like medication, like Advil and Tums and stuff like that. A little bit of pre-made meals, but yeah, it's just good to have that right across the way. But I think we're coming up on it here soon. All right, Florida, here we are. Huh? Site C31. Come here. Oh, we gotta keep them close slash on a leash. What do you think? It's so weird being at a campsite without the trailer. I know. The last time we went camping, we were doing RV life. If you guys were around for that, yeah, we did obviously so much camping. We lived in our trailer for four months, and it's so weird being at a campsite where we can just leisurely park the car and not have to deal with the trailer and unhitching it and all that fun stuff. But we do have to put up the tent, which we're not particularly skilled at, so um, that should be fun to watch. So we've got a little picnic table, I believe this is probably for a bear bag, but there's also this. This is food storage, no garbage. I got a question really quick. And maybe you don't have to answer, but I'm just gonna kind of like say something out loud here. There was a, uh, I remember there was like something in the news where this girl got killed by her boyfriend while they were out like camping or something like that. It, or something about social media, like the boyfriend, they caught them. They were she was like a vlogger or like a content creator or something, and she got killed. I I'm not saying this is the couple, but she kind of like looks like that girl. Okay, and then over here is our little tent What's her name? site. Let's see. Nice and level. Crosby love. Grace Travels. And it's so nice. It's like it's. This own was two pole. weeks ago, so okay, like never a mind. Little trail here, trail there. Gabby and Petito, I believe right yeah. there is some drinking water, which is. Okay, this is not Gabby. Okay, good. I was just making sure this wasn't like one of her old videos or some shit. It's really, actually, so nice. Gabby Petito, yeah. It is tent putting up time. Tent o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Wait, it's supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> we to flip it. Nice. Off to a great start. Well, we're doing pretty good aside from the rain fly confusion, but hopefully it stays. The rain chance is pretty much zero, so hoping it stays that way because we're still figuring it out. Oh, it's gonna rain. I guarantee it. Now that's a freaking tent. Oh yeah. Okay, nice. so now let's get this sleeping pad in here. You little baby no, puppy. I'm sorry. Well, I just finished up making dinner. I made some vegetable and potato soup. And by made, I mean I had a little Oh, I know what you mean. She does a bit. Yeah, a little bit. I just she got, got these it. really fancy she, vegetable that's what, soups from. When I saw her and I saw the guy, her boyfriend even kind of looks like the dude, you know? 
That's why I was thinking like, oh shit, is this the same chick? Walmart, yeah. and he did them up. It's in not though. It's not. And a bagged same. salad. I actually used to car camp a ton back in 2020 oh, before yeah. I had a YouTube channel, and one of my go-to oh, meals man. was. That's a one thing salad. I want to do I is get a van, get a camper top. van. But the funny part is, for sure, I didn't bring spoons. <laughs> so Dylan is running to the little general store to see if they have any spoons, so we don't have to drink our soup. <laughs> so stay tuned. Hey, just it's drink us. that shit. What are you talking? across the streets <laughs> well that's convenient and the view are you serious see he kind of looks well, like the guy you too him. you know <laughs> the face of guilt <laughs> all right let's eat thanks Kim. that would be dope yeah there's Good another morning, guy guys. i follow on uh um, there's another guy I follow on YouTube, and he's a uh, a travel vlogger, and he lives in his little, uh, he's got like a Dodge camper van, and I, I think his name is uh, The Fine Print on YouTube, but he, he does a bit actually, yeah, yeah, he does, he does kind of look like, him. that's why I was thinking, are these the same people, like, but anyway, yeah, so he uh, he travels in his camper van solo with his dog, and uh, he goes on some crazy adventures, and he's got great cinematography. I mean, his videos look, look like top-notch. He uses some good good equipment, I think. Up, My sleeping pad deflated, so I was sleeping on gravel all night. <laughs> but we're going to watch the sunrise, because this is the best chance of doing this and I've never done it before. Hey, and Mojo's excited. Mojo's very excited and there's a little bit of pink in the sky. Oh I'm yeah. So excited. It's about to be a pretty night. Look at that. Woo! That's beautiful. If you guys can put sunrise on the Blue Ridge Parkway on your bucket list, mm -hmm. you totally should. Oh yeah. Oh man, I missed that place. I gotta get back there. Those are the best eggs right there. Those are like Gordon Ramsay eggs. All right, we've got our English muffin with avocado and eggs. This is a staple breakfast for me at home and it's pretty easy. And fire. Fire. We have a fire. It's warm. It's way better oh, than yeah. last night. Okay, we are off on our adventure for the day. There are so many hikes in the Pisgah National Forest. Like, you can hike up to Mount Pisgah. It's the trailhead. It's like a five minute drive from the campground that we're at. But one thing that is so just characteristic of Western North Carolina are the waterfalls. So I want to take oh you to one God, of my yes. favorite waterfall hikes. It's very popular, but it's honestly such a must do. And it's about a 50 minute drive from our campground and a 50 minute drive from Asheville. So it's a great place to go for the day on the weekend. So we are about 10 minutes out and yeah, get ready for yeah. some amazing views. There you go, Saski. So we're at DuPont State Park and this state park oh, yeah. has like three or four different amazing waterfalls that you can walk to. So all of the trails kind of converge. We're on High Loop Trail right now and we're about to get to our first waterfall. This is like a really a well done vlog, we man. Like she did really good on this. Yep. That's where I played at okay, when I, I was a kid. Last time that I right was there. here, I only saw that waterfall from way up high, but I've never been down like this close or even down at the bottom. So I'm determined to get to the bottom. We're gonna. I don't even know the way to get there, but we're gonna try. She covered a bit of everything. Yes, yeah, she did. She did really good. This. I mean, I'm from at. I'm like from this area, and I think she did a great service to, to Asheville. Oh yeah, I played in this exact same area Water of this would waterfall. Water definitely right. be ideal, and maybe a bathing suit. It's cold as fuck, too. But you can't beat these views. It's and so that, nice. You the can water drink so that refreshing. water if you wanted to. That's I love it. that's like fresh water. The waterfall's massive. It's huge. I love it. And there's there's a bunch of different that was waterfalls super nice, in and North it's Carolina. It's a really too. really easy hike. Very 
family friendly, dog friendly. Yeah, definitely bring your bathing suit and your water shoes if you wanna actually go into some of the pools. It's super refreshing, but now we're gonna go see if there's any other trails we wanna check out. But I'm also really hungry, so yeah, I want a snack. You want a what? I want a snack. Well, my time here in North Carolina is officially coming to a close. I head out tomorrow on the lovely 12 hour drive back to Tampa, but Asheville and North Carolina in general have such a special place in my heart. So oh, I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And by the way, if you are looking for a place to stay in the mountains, about 30 minutes outside of Asheville, I highly recommend checking out the link below. The cabin I'm staying in is absolutely incredible. Yeah, I'll just stay perfect at my, for families. I'll stay at my friends. family. To house. come and spend some time in the mountains, and it's perfect for good. holiday gatherings. There's availability starting in October. I wouldn't mind getting a cabin, though. That would be it. dope. That but would be anyways, sick. thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will Damn. see you in the next one. Bye. What an amazing video! Very well done video there. And uh, yeah, so that's. Uh, that's sort of my situation, what, uh, what I was raised in, um, what I was raised around. And, uh, yeah, I, I love the, the way uh, I grew up and where I got to grow up. And, uh, and uh, I'll never have anything uh, to say negative about the place, to be honest. But uh, I appreciate you uh, hanging out, Soski. <clears throat> it looks like a beautiful place you grew up. Uh, Thank you for sharing. No problem. But uh, that's going to be it for tonight. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Like I said, I'm now insert Noah on Twitch. So, and all other social media platforms. No worries. Thank you for having me. No problem, Sasuke. You're always welcome here, okay? You have a great day. Take pictures. I'll check out your Instagram. See you on the next one.